A promising start for Matt Hall at the latest Red Bull Air Race round in Austria, qualifying in fifth. The member of the pilot was actually left somewhat frustrated, though, with engine troubles hindering his two runs. Hall is looking to regain the championship lead when racing commences later tonight. A huge result for rising Newcastle triathlete Lorcan Redmond finishing fifth at the Junior World Championships on the Gold Coast. It was a brave performance. Redmond went all in on the bike, left just seconds away from a medal. Well, they just kind of suffered a bit in the end there, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way because I'm racing kind of a home crowd and I just want to just really give it everything to the line. Fellow Nova Castor and Aaron Royal finished 22nd in the elite men's race. South will face Lakes United in the 2018 Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final after the Seagulls hammered Curry Curry this afternoon, 38-16. Lakes were beaten by the Lions just last week, but if today's performance is anything to go by, the decider is going to be close. Playing in the home of the club that beat them last week and were waiting in the decider, Lakes were keen to make it their own. Nick Newman's opening try typified that intent. <laughs> Points were slow to come early. This from Cody Charles saw the Seagulls out to a 10-0 lead. But it was never going to be that easy. The Bulldogs fought to reach the finals and fought to the third week. So it was no surprise when they hit back. Approaching half-time, the scores were level after a horror mix-up at the back. But a penalty on the siren saw Lakes head into the sheds in front, 12-10. When play resumed, the deadlock was almost immediately broken. Jacob Gagai was too strong to be held out. Before Lakes' other centre went one better. Bouncing off defenders, Josh Charles' rampaging run, finding space down the middle. Wrong footing the fullback to score a memorable try. That made the score 24-10. So when skipper Sean Boss went over with 10 minutes left, their place in the decider was all but sealed. Frustration began to boil over for Curry as Lake set their sights on next Sunday at McDonald Jones Stadium. Gosford has entered the Hunter Coast Premier League hockey history books after claiming back-to-back -back titles with a 1-0 win over North this afternoon. Lane Carr scored the decisive goal with just five minutes left on the clock. It's the first time the club has gone back-to-back -back with North and South, the only other clubs to do so in the competition's history. Oh, mate, it's pretty unreal. I think, you know, it's the first time in this club's history. Um, you know, four years ago it was our first ever premiership and now we've done three for four. But, you know, going back-to-back -back in any sport is pretty tough and I think we had a talk during the week about how tough it is mentally. No matter if you come out and beat a side in the semi-finals convincingly, you still got to turn on grand final day. Boss Kai Willett was named man of the match. And Jane, that's a well-deserved win for Gosford today. They have been impressive all season. Yeah, congratulations to them. Thank you, Sam. Well, we've got some warm weather ahead this week. We'll check all the weather details next.
defy expectation. I want a feeling like Toyota. At Marvel, details matter. That's why we're committed to bringing mobile quality fuels to every driver across Australia. Mobile, every drive matters. Matters. <laughs> Australia, you can save in every aisle, every day at Coles. Save on spring cleaning. New to downtown. Cold power laundry powder and liquid, just $8.50 each. Save $8. And Coles Ultra Antibacterial Multipurpose Wipes, 100 pack, now downtown to just $3.50. If I see a special, I'm, I know I'm going to save money. Handy Ultra Paper Towel, 4 pack, just $2.60. That's half price. If you love to save, I save $27.31. Good things are happening to prices at Coles. For life's spontaneous moments, with Rawson Holmes, you'll find a place to be yourself. Tonight's weather is proudly brought to you by the Burton family, Mainland and Port Stephens Toyota. Call in to get your best price on a new Toyota. Weather. A strong front has left very cold and dry air in its wake, the mercury dipping to just 3 degrees in Merriwar this morning. An ancient and very beautiful fig tree is the focus of our weather shot tonight as the sun sets over the hills around McLean's Ridge near Lismore. Thank you, Di. After the satellite cloud forming, the state's northeast with a trough isn't producing any rain, mostly clear elsewhere as high pressure builds. Tomorrow, that large high will bring a chilly morning and dry day to much of New South Wales and Victoria. Northerly winds developing in Victoria, Tassie and South Australia will become mild and gusty as a trough brings showers to Tasmania. A glorious sunny day today, but as expected, much colder than yesterday. A top of just 15 at Nobbies, 11 to 16 at Nelson Bay, 18 for Newcastle, 11 to 20 at Singleton, 3 to 17 at Merry War. Tomorrow, sunny with patches of light frost about the Upper Hunter in the early morning and some light winds on the way. 9 to 19 for Newcastle, 20 for Wall's End and Cessnock, 3 to 23 at Musselbrook, minus 1 to 11 for the Barrington Tops. Hunter Waters sees at a metre and a half with a two and a half metre swell, southerly turning variable and then northeasterly. The sun to rise at 5.49 and set at 5.47 and the outlook for Newcastle sunny and back to the mid-twenties for Tuesday and Wednesday for Scone. A possible shower midweek but we still need some good soaking rain rising to 26 degrees on Tuesday, 27 on Wednesday and the back to 21 for Thursday. And for Gosford this week, mostly fine and mid-twenties for Tuesday and Wednesday and then dropping back to the high teens for Thursday and a Friday. Again, no rain on the way. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for more local news, sport and weather. And that wraps up our bulletin for this evening. The Today Show will have the latest news tomorrow morning. From all of us here, good night.